Yo, yo, yo. What's up, friends? My name is Joe Idonium here, coming to you live a few hours away in South Florida from an impending, potentially massive Hurricane Milton. Uh, house is ready to go. Uh, all final preparations are issues. Kids are in bed. Flashlights are ready. Um, let's talk some long shots for the Black Desert Championship. So I did not do the podcast last night. Thus, I am going to release this video on the familiar Rotoballer PGA YouTube page, as well as my own Twitter feed, just because I want to get some more content out there this week. Uh, I've actually been looking forward to this tournament for quite a while. I think uh, the Black Desert Resort will look incredible, spectacular on your television screens. Uh, the course is sort of carved out of that black lava rock. There are a ton of options on the board. I'm sort of leaning toward the bomber narrative. My course preview piece uh, is out now on the Rotoballer PGA website. It's also on my Twitter feed at Tour Picks. If you want to check that out, completely free of charge. We'll get you all squared away before you make some bets this week, as well as my top 10 power rankings. Thanks to the good people over at Rotoballer for continuing to support this content and everything that I do. You guys are the absolute best. Uh, if you are here on the Rotoballer PGA YouTube page, like, subscribe to this channel, leave me your long shot pick. I'm looking to give away some uh, some cool stuff, some preferred lines gear, stuff like this t-shirt here. I'm going to send to some people who continue to support the show. Thank you so much. Okay, let's get into some bombs for Utah. First up on the board, we're going to go all the way down to 80 to 1. That's where I'm starting my long shot card this week. Uh, I've got a pick, and I'm going to bring him on to the stage now because he has just been stellar with his approach play. I'm actually quite surprised at what the numbers have produced for my boy Austin Smotherman. 80 to 1 this week on Smotherman. Uh, you see what he did last week at the Sanderson Farms, gaining nearly seven and a half strokes on approach. Lost that all back putting. Now, the week before that, no statistical data in terms of strokes gain that we can point to, but T7 at the Pro Core is a solid result. You see a lot of made cuts. Looks like seven consecutive starts. At least four of them, he's been dominant on approach. His last three starts, at least 5.1 gained with his irons. If he can somehow flip the putter, and here's what kind of what I'm hoping. Um, greens that absolutely no one is familiar with large in size they look to have a lot of nuance and undulation on these tom weiskopf design greens uh, i'm hoping that what that does is kind of level the playing field because nobody has a caddy that really understand these greens the course has only been open less than a year maybe that gives smotherman a little bit of a bump he continues to step on the gas with his iron play and we know that he's sharp enough at times off the tee to to be dominant there as well okay smotherman 80 to ones on the card now Two players at 90 to 1. First off, I'm going back to this guy again this week. Uh, you may recognize him from my card last week, but now he moves to the 90 to 1 spot. I'm talking about my guy, Nick Hardy. Um, love the way his game has sort of been trending. You see here the driving numbers for Hardy. Uh, above tour average in ball speed, above tour average in driving accuracy, and he's been gaining nearly a half a stroke more than half a stroke per round on approach for the last 24 rounds played. Look at all this green in that approach column. Look at all this bright green in the off the tee column. Those are the things that I'm looking for out of Hardy. Decent performance last week once again with a T28 at the Sanderson. Four straight made cuts for him. Young player with a ton of talent. Only has that one win in sort of the mixed events. Uh, yeah, here, the Zurich that he won, certainly out there for a lot of FedEx Cup points, certainly out there to attempt to capitalize on some decent current form. And speaking of current form, uh, the next guy at 90 to 1 is a lot better than you may think, and I'm talking about Henrik Norlander. Now, I'm going to pop over to my boy Rick Run Good site here because he's got the full European data as well. Look at these last, like, look at how much he's played since July, guys. I'm going to start here at the John Deere, 61st, 25th, 11th, 12th, cut, 53rd, 8th at the Omega European Masters. Sanderson Farms last week, T28, he faded a little bit there on Sunday, but I've got him down for like 10 consecutive rounds, at least two under par or better. He's striping it well. And what I love more than anything, he's out there grinding right now, Norlander, playing a lot of golf. You do not have to question the number of reps and the amount of work that he's put in. And you see the amount of green here that on your screen right now in the approach column. Norlander 90 to 1. 
Hardy 90 to 1, Smotherman 80 to 1. Stay safe, all my friends all across the state of Florida. Uh, I'm thinking about you guys. I'm right here in the trenches. Hope that you all have a great week. Good luck. Enjoy the Black Desert Championship. You guys are the absolute best. Like, retweet, share with a friend if you support this type of content. Uh, thanks again. My name is Joe Idoni on behalf of Rotoballer PGA. This has been Launching Long Shots for the Black Desert Championship. Talk to you next week. Peace.